what's going on guys it is your boy assessing here with a video here today there's a brand new video uh photoshop to on it's what is it called iridescent we're gonna call it iridescent gradient uh, gradient iridescent liquid does that make sense i hope so god i hope so uh regardless it's a pretty cool little effect here today's video um also if you guys are liking the effect videos let me know right now leave a like right now if you guys like the effect videos i'm, I'm enjoying them hopefully you guys you've been uh enjoying them too but regardless it's a really cool little effect where it kind of like throws in this sort of like metalish um texture with like a really cool just idea with using liquify and then like a gradient uh and like iridescent you guys get it right also for the record to get to point a to point b all the different little steps all look cool on their own so hopefully you guys enjoy them uh i love them and that's all i got for you guys so with that being said enjoy the video today and uh yeah that's all i got love you guys enjoy all right guys so let's get this thing going right here right now so really quick i am in a 1920 by 1080 document size just in case you guys were aware um and also the first thing i'm going to also recommend you guys to do is right here on the left hand side where the little color picker is there's an icon to the left just like so you basically want to click on that that'll make your default colors black and white which we're going to actually need to do when we do our first little step which is making a new layer going to filter choosing render and going to cloud this will make a nice little cloud texture for us and uh it just basically chooses the colors that you guys have in your foreground color so if you don't change it it won't be black and white so now over here we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna use liquify now this first liquify for me i think the uh, brush size around 700 is pretty perfect for me for this document size now if i were to just really quickly show you my mouse movement is going to be like this i'm going to move this way then i kind of drag it move this way then i'm going to drag it and move this way right almost like a little zigzag that's exactly the hand movement that i'm going to basically do so i click 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 right it's pretty simple right and a little empty spaces here you just want to take it move it toward the right hand side fill that up move this toward the left fill that up and move this like in a circular motion up to fill this up right here and this is basically the first little sort of like liquify thing you should basically do now once you've done that you want to make the same exact layer a smart object now just like this right now i can go to filter and we're going to blur where it says blur right here and we're going to use gaussian blur i think 20 would probably be our best bet let's go best bet so i'm going to go 20 i think that's pretty good now i'm going to use the same exact layer go to filter and use liquify once again now this time i'm going to be at around 1400 basically doubling the size of my brush and i'm just going to click drag and almost like do a little circle action um you see this little really really pretty like sort of stretchy lines right here this is what you're looking for you're looking for these really fun organic shapes and right we'll fill it in just like here right there that's nice right there and just like that see that's a that's a gorgeous i'm happy with that when i press okay immediately if i mess it up okay so now that we're here right we're pretty good so i think the 20 percent gaussian blur is really good because without it without the gaussian blur it's looking like this right you don't want to look like this you want to have the gaussian blur because that'll make it look a lot more how do you say smooth and nice so now that we have this we're going to throw in our gradient with the gradient i'll basically give you guys this gradient map in the description down below to load it up all you have to do is go to import and you basically import your gradient uh wherever you save it when you guys save it or download it in the description down below you can always change the colors around a little bit more too like for me i want a little more greenish tone here but that's pretty good also if you want to make one yourself you basically want to just choose a color and make sure you're moving toward the left hand side more more towards the white when you choose the main color so if i use this green you see my green is not over here it's on the left hand side my circle i mean right so if you were to choose a green you usually just kind of let your circle be up here you see how mine's right now it's like right here that's what you want to do make sure you move it toward the white um that'll make it more incandescent and nice and pretty and cool so now that we're here we're pr pretty good to go so let's do the next step which will be duplicating so i'm going to basically click on this first layer the gradient layer okay pull control and select this uh uh layer one or this you know, the higher extra layer control j to make a duplicate of that layer and then control e to merge them all together now the reason why i did this is i'm going to make a smart object again we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to where it says filter gallery and we're going to use paint uh paint, is it paint dupes no it's a uh, plastic wrap excuse me and for the plastic wrap we're going to have it at 15 10 15. i think that's a pretty solid place to start if you want to try out different details by the way um or different how you say levels of like detail make sure you just move the detail i think 15 15 on both sides on the other sides are perfectly fine um but this is where i want to have around seven or so detail looks pretty good press okay now i did forget though before i actually do that let's go ahead and make a new layer really quickly as well and throw in our little fun organic shapes so what you're going to make this kind of look really cool is if you were to kind of take a shape right so right now i see a few shapes i see like uh one right here very easily right that was a terrible trace i see one right here of course as well i see one like kind of like right here you kind of see this little shape right here right all these little miniature shapes you want to just kind of like point out pencil them out just like this i'm going to pencil out some shapes 
brush real quick. It needs to be a very, very nice organic look. Say like this, and I'll just make sure I make this a little more organic, right? There you go. Same thing with this one over here. All right, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically make sure this is a selection, a quick selection. So you can either use the M tool on your keyboard, um, so not M, if you press P on your keyboard, which you have the pen tool out, right? And you basically make a selection just like so, and press okay. That'll make it so that you can actually fill in the actual spaces. However, if you also just press control enter, that'll also quick fill that little action for us where they don't right click anything like that. So with this new layer, I'm gonna basically just take my brush real quick. Right, I'm going to use a nice little brush, a very simple zero hardness brush, just like this, right? I'm just going to hold Alt on my keyboard when I have the brush out and select one of the colors. So I'm going to select the purple first. I'm going to click the purple and make sure all these are purple right now, right? Then I'm going to select the blue and go in and kind of make sure a nice little gradient is getting added in. Then we're going to select a yellow. You can, you can make different kind of like uh, amounts of things for each one. Like I'm going to put a little yellow here. I'll put a little more yellow here, like maybe even a different kind of yellow tone. Right, something like this, something like this. Boom, you just wanna basically make almost like these little mini gradients. We'll add a little bit of green in here because we can. And then I think that's pretty good. So if I press Control D to deselect, you can now see, you can almost see this little fun little organic shapes being interacted with this really fun original sort of like texture we did before. And that's what we want. So now what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna just do the whole thing I did before. So click this first, link, uh, first layer right here. Hold Shift, click on this, um, extra layer it'll select the thing in between it as well so if you did any more things it'll select everything in between then Control j to make a duplicate Control e to merge it together right click smart object just like so go to filter uh filter gallery <coughs> excuse me and now when i do paint dubs not paint doom sorry plastic wrap under artistic by the way under artistic this right here this one's called plastic wrap that's when you want to choose so 15 7 15 is what i was going for now you can see however when you look at these little some fun little organic shapes they almost pop out even more and look super super freaking dope and honestly depending on how you actually got your first liquify um like you know how do you say texture it would it could look even better like right now the more i look at it the more i wish i had tried a different one or something like that because i do i don't quite like how the organic shapes fit here but it works for the tutorial but just saying try out different things right so i'm gonna say maybe even like let's just say like 11 i think i'm, I'm okay with 11 we're just gonna press 11 for at least tutorial sake right let's say that's pretty good and now we're good so now we have this going on here what we want to do to ourselves here is make a duplicate of this layer just like so make a duplicate and i'm gonna basically just really quickly rasterize a layer that'll get rid of all my other uh how do you say filters and everything on that that i had on the smart object and i'm gonna really quickly make it again a smart object just so it's a nice clean slate so for this though we're gonna go to filter we're gonna go to where it says uh camera raw filter and then under camera raw filter under the basic tab right here if you scroll down you'll see texture you want to just take the texture and throw this pretty far up i would say like a hundred percent Take your clarity, put about like, uh, how do you say, 10% or so. You can take your dehaze and put this up a little bit as well. Take your blacks, you can throw them down. You can take your saturation and put them up. I know I'm speaking pretty fast, but it's literally just moving texture all the way up. And you can put a little bit of clarity on, a little bit on the lower on the blacks to make it a little bit more contrasty. Take your saturation, put it up just to get more color in there, right? Now, this is a little bit too much color, but I'll say the right here is pretty solid. So once I also do that, I'm gonna also go to where it says detail. Right, and we're gonna noise reduction. Take this and just throw this all the way up, just like that. I can put a little bit of sharpening on as well, but sharpening I'll say by 25 to 30. I'll say 30, and noise reduction all the way up, because a lot, a lot of times you're doing like texture or like throwing up these options right here, like texture and clarity. It will make the the actual how do you say uh, background itself look more pixelated and really awkward. So if you like look here, there's a little bit of awkwardness over here. You can even try uh, how do you say. Under detail, you can even try color noise reduction as well. That might help a little bit as well with like banding lines. So if you really quickly look at the before and after, which is a little icon right here. Let me see it again for the people who did not just see that. Right here, right? This little circle right here or this little square. That was, get it. Right, little square that uh, toggle the before and after. If I click right here, you can see these little banding lines. If I were to take the noise reduction, you can see that it almost gets rid of them. Um, just makes it a little more smoother transition. So I, I would even say if you want to try that out as well, you could. So. Now that you're done with that, you can press OK, just like so. Now, here comes the fun part, okay? So we're gonna throw on a gradient, once again, gradient map. This gradient map, however, will be black and white. So I'm basically gonna basically just choose like a nice black on one side, 
and we'll just move this uh, middle anchor point to the middle and then white on the other side. Now, if you want to, it doesn't have to be necessarily black or white. If I wanted to just add a little more of like a nicer, how do you say, like an offset white tone, I can make this more of like a bluish sort of like offset like this, which is gonna be kind of pretty, like E4, E6, E9 is the white offset white that I have on the right hand side. And that's pretty good. So I'm gonna press okay. So now to make this interesting, what you wanna do is we're gonna take off the gradient really quick, right? So this gradient map, we're gonna put it on again. However, we're just gonna have this layer be our main layer we wanna see. I'm gonna select on this layer, go to where it says select color range. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the orange first. So what I would also do is make sure your featherness is around like, let's say anywhere from 80 to 120 ish. Okay. So I'm going to put mine on 82. I'm going to press okay. After I selected the orange, right? You can see how it's selecting certain colors right here. If I select the blue, it'll select this uh, portion of the blue, which I think I'll just do blue for now. Press okay. And then what happens is it's going to basically select all the parts of the blue that's in the actual place right here. So if we go back to our gradient map and turn it on for a second with our selection still on, if I go to this gradient map here, I can take my brush, right? and make sure my brush is black and go in and go over all this different uh, all these different cutouts that we just made just like so and it'll add that really really cool little blue that is only in there uh in the previous um how do you say image right if i turn it off again right we'll go back and click on this layer again go to filter or excuse me select color range again we'll choose orange this time we're gonna take the featherness and maybe put the feathers a little bit further down every time you click again so it doesn't look like it's just kind of like recoloring the entire thing again we're down 10 or so uh, fe uh fuzziness i said featherness but fuzziness right press 70 press okay i selected orange this time click back on the gradient click back on the mask by the way as well to actually uh, erase things right take your brush make sure it's black get in here and then click and just go over it just like this again and you can see it's starting to look pretty freaking cool right so i want to do it one more time i'll do it with like the the green i guess we'll do uh select color range choose green and then go into it and just like that you make yourself a pretty freaking cool looking like thing it's a cool little texture that i think it's just super super dope to just know how to do if i go to the adjustments really quick and choose uh Let's choose vibrance, put up the vibrance a little bit, put up the saturation a little bit. Now, what you can also do, what I personally did, is I just go ahead and go to the adjustments once again, go to hue and saturation though, right? And I'm just gonna move the hue and saturation up until you find something pretty cool. Um, like, oh my God, that's really trippy. That's pretty cool. I like that color scheme a lot. I mean, it's a really cool color scheme. If you even wanna click on the mask as well and take your brush and erase as well, you can actually get some multicolors in here. Let's say something like this could be kind of fun. Right now, if you want to, I would press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. It'll merge all the layers that you see right now currently into one single layer, but also keep all your other layers as well. So you can see it's like that. So if I go to really quickly make this a smart object, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, I can once again throw on the detail, noise reduction, throw that up again to make it even more smoother. Take the uh, sharpen up, put it up a little bit as well. And you can kind of see this really nice look to it. Even if you want to go back to basic, pick your texture, put it up as well. But this is getting this is getting a little bit too sort of like hard and metallic. -y. I want it to be more organic, so I'm not going to do too much texture there. Um, literally zero, to be honest with you. But you know, I would recommend you guys to keep maybe like trying out using more like noise reduction things like that because it looks pretty cool if you do that. Um, press OK, right? You can see how nice and smooth it looks. I mean, that look that looks. It's just freaking cool. It's like almost like a marbling incandescent kind of thing. But also at the same time, um, if you didn't want to do like the whole black and white thing, realistically, this looks pretty cool too without, I would say, without the, the texture, um, without the um, clarity. Like, there it is. That right there also looks pretty dope. So it's kind of like a two tutorials in one where if you want to do like a really cool gradient incandescent idea with this really cool little blobs, that itself looks pretty dope. If you want to take it a little step further or add more effects to it, you can then go ahead and throw on your, uh, what is this called? This is plastic wrap, right? Then you put on a nice little um, color raw filter with like your, your blurs and your things like that, your, your saturations. Then you throw on the black and white. Then you throw on some more uh, color adjustments and then you're pretty much here. So it's pretty freaking cool. I thought it was pretty dope. I want to show it off a little bit. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, it's a really little fun, cool effect that I hopefully you can use for just some kind of somethingness. Maybe it's like a um, like a background of some sort, but I think it's pretty dope. So 
With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. Of course, if you guys enjoy these videos, these effect videos, let me know because I think it's pretty freaking dope. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking better, guys. Love you. Later. Have a great weekend. Peace.